Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and I've got AFL Live 2. I went to get it this morning, about 9am in the morning. Uh, usually wouldn't wait up that early, but uh, yeah, it's a new game, and I noticed some people actually got it yesterday, so I definitely want to be one of the first with AFL Live on YouTube. And yeah, it's very important for my subscribers, the people who have subscribed to that, because I did make a video saying I was going to do it. And I know some people may have already, but a lot of it has just been gameplay uh, that uploaded like last night. Obviously, I didn't have the game then, so I couldn't do that. And I just wanted to, yeah, I want to do career mode. That's the main thing. But I might do some online matches until I get used to the game and that kind of thing. And even with this career, I'm not going to play it right now on the first day. I'm going to practice uh, playing offline for about maybe a couple hours so I can get used to the game so I don't lose in the actual career. I want to make sure I'm good at the game. And I'm still going to be playing on hard. So going in straight away, playing on hard. Uh, yeah, it's a tough ass, obviously. Uh, but you need a challenge in the game. And last year, I remember, it was definitely, like, on the hardest level, you could still win. So I still, I've got to see the balance and see how the balance is. But apparently, it's really hard. I've been watching some people play it. And, yeah, it looks difficult, or maybe they're just bad at the game. And, yeah, there isn't many AFL Live YouTubers. I think the most popular one is only with, like, a 1,000 subscribers. And I definitely have more than that. So... I want to have be successful with my AFL Live video, so hopefully enjoy it. And here's just this part where you have to create your player. You have to, I'm, to me, I, I'm one who doesn't really like playing with your own player in a team. Uh, it would be different if you just controlled your player, but uh, yeah, honestly, I don't like having a not real player. Obviously, I just made myself with my name and that, but honestly, I probably won't even use my player uh, because I don't find it realistic. I want to be like the real player's and obviously, I'm not a real AFL player, so that's a bit on that. And yeah, I had to fix the face and all that kind of thing, and I didn't really care. i just really showing you the different options, pretty much. That's why I stayed on this, and instead of just doing it really quickly. I'm sure you can see the real, all of the options. Uh, you can choose your position, your preferred position. That's a very important thing. I noticed already you can choose which foot you want. Uh, there's also, there's good some good attributes as well, like you can choose... Not choose, but players have weak foot accuracy and that kind of thing. So obviously, if you're a right footer, uh, but you have good weak foot accuracy, you can kick well on both feet. So that's a good thing. And here with the numbers, I didn't want to steal a number or not steal, like have a number that one player uh, already has. So I, in the end, I just went up to 99 just for something a bit different. Um, uh, so yeah, and also I have a lot of subscribers uh, from FIFA and Football Manager. So a lot of my subscribers are going to be from Europe. And they most likely, or yeah, I'll probably I'll just talk to you so it sounds properly. Um, you probably don't know what AFL is if you're not from Australia. So uh, the thing is, I don't want to, because I'm going to obviously get some new subscribers who obviously follow AFL and know a lot about it because I, I don't want to seem like I'm telling you all about AFL. If you want to know about it, go find out for yourself because then this video um, will be bad from people who already know about about AFL and know how it works and that kind of thing. So I've got to really get the balance right. So hopefully you understand that. And obviously here I show you, I'm going to be Carlton. They're the team I support. Uh, but yeah, the team definitely needs a rebuild. Uh, I'm going to use the trade. Obviously you have to use the trading uh, to trade some players out because there's heaps of players in the team uh, that I would like to change. And that really needs to be done in real life. Even though we're in the finals, we definitely don't deserve to be there. Uh, didn't play like a final team, but we're there nonetheless and playing against Richmond on Sunday. So that's going to be a good match. I'll be there um, uh, going with my dad and my brother. So uh, hopefully we can get a bit of luck there. We have a good record against Richmond, so who knows what can happen. But if somehow we win there uh, after that, yeah, I doubt we have a chance uh, to do anything past that because obviously there's some better teams in the finals. And yeah, it would be pretty... But who knows? We've got Mick Malthouse as coach. And he's a very good coach, so who knows what he's going to do. Uh, but I have big hopes against Richmond, at least. But after that, yeah, I don't think so. And again, here, I'm just showing all these different options. Uh, so uh, to me, the face, he looked really weird. It was impossible to make it look like me. Uh, but like I said, I'm probably not even going to use him a lot. And also, as I said, this is probably going to be the first in-depth career mode. I think I really searched through to make sure if anyone else has done it yet. I think one person uploaded, but they just uploaded like the face part, like this part here. They didn't go into the next part, showing, excuse me, uh, showing all the stuff within the career. Uh, so that's pretty pretty good. And yeah, I'm still yet to play the game, so I'm probably after I, I'm doing the commentary for this now. I'll probably upload it and then I'll practice and then I'll probably. Um, yeah, I'm not sure how long I'm going to actually record like record myself playing the actual 
the actual gameplay. I'm just going to have to see for that. You can see some interesting hairstyles here with the dreadlocks. But that's not really my style. Some, uh, they actually have, I reckon these player, like the editing is better than the one on FIFA, but that's just my opinion. The faces look more like how someone would, who, how someone would look in real life, but that's just my opinion uh, compared to FIFA. Uh, the hair, yeah, even the hairstyles, they look a bit better. And uh, parts about the career mode, I actually really like. And here, I'm going to go with this haircut, but I'm going to change it to uh, brown, I believe I do. Uh, so you can just see it a bit more. Black hairstyles are a bit dark, even though it doesn't look like me. I just want to look like a decent player. Um, obviously, my look in real life wouldn't be a look of a football player, probably. Uh, anyway, as usually, they would have short hair. But anyway, moving on from that. Uh, this is a very... Um, it seems already... Or I'll talk about it when, it get, when I get to it, but... It, it, the creative side is really good. Uh, if you if you're someone who likes to create players and that kind of thing, it's good. Uh, but for me, I find it I don't find it really realistic having a not real player playing in a career mode like for your team. But you had to in this instance, so I did and went along with that. So it, it's a good thing, I guess, because other uh, different people have different preferences. So it's a good thing to have in the game. And I yeah, it's hard to say because I haven't played the game yet. So I'm just focusing on the uh, like the physical off game things you can see here. And it's a bit decent, like the like these, they would look like a real person, that's the main thing I'm trying to talk about with compared to FIFA, they actually look like a real person would, uh, or at least similar to what a real person would. And yeah, the faces of the players look decent, I just checked a couple uh, when I went into it, but I'll go ahead with that, and yeah, like I said, obviously it doesn't look like me, and honestly, I would have liked it if, we d if you didn't have to create your own player, I would have liked it, why couldn't you just create a manager or a coach, so uh, that's... And that's what I would have liked, but unfortunately, you had to go with that. And then when you go into the actual career, it has your name as well, even though you, even though that's the name of the created player. So are you like the manager and a player at the same time? I'm not really sure, but he starts with a very low rating. I think it's just like 55. Uh, so that's pretty low for me, and I probably won't even play him because of that reason, unless I, he has a lot of points. I'll talk about that soon. And you can see all these different options there for the team. you got attacking. They're all like sorted into different groups, which is good. Uh, a four-star rating, that's pretty acceptable. It just really depends where you rate your team. And here with the gameplay, I ended up putting on hard. wasn't going to go on legend straight away. Legend definitely sounds like a hard level, so I'll just go with hard. And hard, you think it's going to be hard. Just, that's that's what the level is called. Uh, but with the management, I just put it on easy for the start because uh, just for starting, you might get a bit more money or something. But it's not like it's not like football, like the real football. And I say that because I make FIFA videos the most, and if I call it soccer, it's just gonna get, it's just gonna go bad from there. So, uh, yeah, it's a bit different. You, it's not like you can't you can't buy players like anything. You trade for players or get players from the draft. That's pretty much it. It's more like to the NBA style or NFL style games. So maybe that's the thing. If you like those kind of games, you probably enjoy this at least the off-field kind of things. And there's like tribunals where players get suspended, and that's something I like. You have to rotate your team. And first match in the NAB Cup is against GWS, the worst team in the league. So uh, that's an easy start. But I'm still going to practice, so I make sure I'm good at the game before I actually. Uh, go into it because it's very important as some things I'll show you in a minute but first off uh, you can manage your team obviously uh, change players positions all that kind of thing as you can see there uh, you can see your for you can actually change the formation in your team but I didn't actually get into the in this in this game or not or in this episode I didn't really yeah I didn't delve into it much I just put the players in the positions I thought and actually I was on the ground somehow like the player I created so with that I just took him off. I didn't want my, like I said previously, I don't want myself. I may, I may change my thoughts later in the career or something. But honestly, to be realistic, I'm just gonna probably. If I'm not sure if you can release your player, or I might trade him to like a crap team or something. Well, not to a crap, just trade him to whoever. Uh, just to maybe get a draft pick if you can trade players for draft picks. I'm not really sure. Uh, I'll find that out when you get later in the game. Hopefully, the draft is really. Uh, it's in depth, and if it is, this will be a fantastic game because you can actually improve your scout. So I would imagine that's something you can do. And sorry if my like the recording, the screen, uh, it I'm not sure what to explain it, but it sometimes just flickers or something. Uh, that's because of my TV like sometimes it just goes like that. I have no control over it. Just like when someone closes like the bathroom door or something, yeah, that's what happens. Like I have no control over it. And I just want to put this out there straight away. And we're, I actually really like my team in attack and in midfield. Like forward and midfield, our team is really good. And Mark Murphy, the captain of the team, Mark Murphy, has a 96 rating. Personally, I'm even a Carlton supporter, and I think that is overrated, especially when Judd is 88. 
and Murphy's 96. I think that's a bit overrated in my opinion, definitely. But a lot of the other players are uh, pretty uh, pretty good rated. Apart, I think Murphy's just he's especially his performance this year uh, hasn't been amazing as a captain. Um, I wouldn't even expect it to be the amount Judd is like 88, maybe 86 or something like that, and he's 10 more than that. So yeah, that's a bit interesting. Got some good young players in there uh, like Troy Menzel. I'm going to put him in as a sub, and obviously the sub. I, I really don't want to talk about obvious things in AFL because I'm going to get new subscribers that obviously. Uh, know a lot about AFL, uh, so it's really hard. I don't want to pe- like seem like to those people that I already like I'm a noob or something because I'm just I've got to explain to uh, people who know who have no idea what AFL is. So if I do that at times, uh, that's the reason why. Uh, and also we've got Robbie Warnock in the ruck. He's the second tallest ruckman in the game, and hopefully that will um, be influenced. It's always happened in AFL games. Tall ruckmen, no matter of their quality, have always been good just because they're taller than their opponent. Uh, so most likely he'll win most rucks, and we'll just put Matty Cruiser up forward because he's a really good kick as well. And also, I've seen it's really hard as a score as well uh, from set shots. Uh, in AFL Live, the first edition of the game, it was really easy. I could pretty much score every single time from a set shot. It was so easy. Uh, so yeah, see the rest of these players. A lot of players you can see low rated. I'm going to try and trade, maybe trade for draft picks again. Uh, I might even just do a simulate career. So when I get to the draft day, I know how, what it's all about. I might just sit, do a sim career, like I said. And here, this is where you can improve your players by XP. Originally, uh, in my head, I didn't really, uh, yeah, I didn't really like this. I like it in FIFA how players like they grow naturally, uh, where you have no control over it. It just they develop the way they should. But here, you have more control over. It, I suppose. Uh, it just brings me back to those like PS2 days where you get to like these kind of games. You can improve the players um, in what like what positions you want, and there's really a lot. You got like tagging their hip and shoulder tackle, spoil and smother. So actually, it's really in depth with, with the attributes. That's why I really like. There's a lot of different ones, and there's a few attribute like attributes that I find really important. Like hip and shoulder is important, smothering very important, but also shepherding is not in that one, but. Uh, apparently, uh, shepherding is a very important part of the game. But here, you can also set your whole team uh, training type. With my backs, I've gone defense and half backs. I think I ended up going on power. Obviously, my backs that are really defensive, I want them to focus on spoiling and just uh, winning the ball. Obviously, um, like clearing the ball away. And then my half backs. Half backs are. Um, I want to use it in like attacking formation kind of thing where I use my halfbacks going into midfield. That's why I put on power, so they're good in marking and still good in defending as well. Centers, uh, I just want to show you all the different training types, but I did end up going on movability, uh, which improves finesse. That's important things, finesse, uh, like really good kicks and that kind of thing, and all like the stamina, that's very important for midfielders. But there's like tackle bag drills to improve the tackling. You might want to uh, just change it up throughout the season so it improves the attributes evenly. But obviously, you can cho- choose it your own way. Um, just depends what kind of manager you want to be of your team. But I did end up going on movability after just checking a few. Balance, another thing that's very important. Jumping, important for marking, obviously. And weak foot, that's a big thing. And I, I would imagine they'll be the same for weak hand, to handle on your weak hand as well but not 100% sure. Rucks, obviously, you're going to put them on the ruck work drill. Half forwards, again, I'm going to put them on power. Like, the half backs and half forwards, I'll both put them on power because if you go on power again, I'll just wait till it goes on it. I was going to go goal kicking, but I think I'll leave that for the deep forwards. And, yeah, where are we? if you go on power, yeah, that improves a lot of things, as you can see, their accuracy, handball accuracy, the power kicking accuracy, hip and shoulder, that's a big thing, like I said, tackling, aggression. Uh, it's very important for those kinds of players. And the forwards, obviously, I was going to go with the goal kick. And you see, all oh, there, it's on custom. And I ended up just, I changed it, and then it, obviously it all changed. I pressed X to train now, uh, so that all was affected. I changed it, if you see in a second, uh, you can change it to none. Then you can change it, you can focus on one thing for the whole team, but I wouldn't do that. Uh, I suppose... Uh, really which one you choose you want your ruckman to work on the ruck work and your defenders work in defense and your forwards to work on goal kicking so um next up i just wanted to look um yeah i think i did that yeah i already did that try and improve some players i improved laidler a little bit uh he's a good player in real life but hasn't really got the chance same with laidler and diagon two big players in real life i think if they're not going to get played i think uh, mick malthouse should look to tra- uh, trade them i should say and that's something yeah, I'll look to do. But I want to play them. I think they're very good players, but they're a bit underage. And look at that. I was trying to find some players. And look at that. Essendon. They already have two players suspended, and the season hasn't even started yet. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're not having very good luck right now. 
especially with the real life going on. But uh, anyway, now we check out the inbox. There's heaps of stuff to see. I'm really excited about this. We're playing GWS. You get a little report. Has a report on their best player for them is Callan Ward. Yeah, not you're not going to argue with that. And they've currently won zero games, of course, but the season hasn't started yet. Uh, that's a good thing. So maybe you can tag him or something. And next up, the marketing. You get the sponsorship deals. There's safe. Obviously, you can see all the things there, so you can read it if you like. But basically, it says uh, the sponsorship is worth the sponsorship is worth two hundred fifty thousand dollars per match, regardless of the outcome. Like, doesn't matter if you lose or win. Uh, but there's an extra fifty thousand dollars for the final matches, so you're always getting something. Uh, then the next one is the bonus, uh, where it says a possible three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars per match on the condition that the outcome of the match is a win, with an additional fifty thousand dollars for winning in a final match. But next up, challenge is the one I wanted to go for. Uh, this was, if you see there, whatever it says, um, upon the first round of the finals, the club will receive $1 million. The figure will double upon winning the next round of the finals. So obviously you have to make the finals for that and it will continue to double, I think it said, every final you win. And uh, I ended up choosing that because it's a game and really, if you're good enough at, at the game, you're going to make finals and you're going to win matches. And as I said, I'm going to play until I'm good enough at the game, till I'm winning matches consistently, then I'm pretty sure I should win most matches, and then I should get that bonus and use the money uh, towards the team effectively, whether it be towards scouting or whatever. Uh, you can actually put money towards scouting, so I'm still, I'm not sure if that's scouting for actual, like the draft talent coming up or something else, I'm not really sure. You can see scout, so I would imagine, uh, anyone out there know for sure, uh, but uh, please leave a comment if you know. Um, for people that have played more in depth, if you got it yesterday and you play a lot of career, I'm not really sure. But if you improve the scouts, does that improve your scouts for uh, scouting for the upcoming draft at the end of the season? And here, another thing, you can put your membership prices, whether they be like high, as you see, pricey, affordable, or discounted. You get them on the cheap, you might get some more. And also popularity in there as well. I'm really liking it. Like all this, di it may not look amazing. Uh, like I think the interface kind of thing could look better but all this kind of thing you got your profit there you can choose like for the round as well each round you can change the pricing in the nab like if you're in the nab cup you might want to put cheap membership like i did uh might want to get some new members or something and if you if you do you can keep it like that and um yeah you got to really this is where all like this is what i really like in a game like a career where you have to manage finances do things to improve your finances uh, so that's very good, and luckily we got the GWS in the first round of the NAB Cup. That should be an easy win, even if I'm not amazing at the game yet. So now I'm actually trying to go really through the whole thing, so you can, if you haven't bought the game yet, I'm trying to show you a lot of stuff. So our group is a bit mixed, our NAB Cup group, uh, obviously me being Carlton, but we've got GWS and Sydney. Uh, so I'm not sure whether to play some younger players, because I'm not really sure how players improve yet anyway. Like, uh, do younger players gain more experience points so you can improve them than older players? I'm not really sure. You're going to have to... Yeah, you have to really experiment with that. And here, this is where you can see your player's attributes. You can't check it at the squad screen where you select your team. You have to go to there. So there, I clicked on Mark Murphy. Like I said, he's a 96 overall. And like I said, the players look really real, which uh, I like that. So you can see his information, his preferred position when he was born. So you get a gauge on his age there and his height and weight also. But you see, he had very, very high attributes. I still think he's overrated and... Again, I'm just checking the best players. Chris Judd looks like him as well. Uh, he's a beast player, but he is getting a bit older, so he may be a trade bait come the end of the season. I might trade for a younger player. I know it's something that probably wouldn't happen in real life, but you could really use that effectively. That's what I've always done in these kind of games, uh, like Premiership Coach. If people have played that, it's not really inactive anymore, or it's not really active anymore. But yeah, just showing the main guys here, Eddie Betts. Uh, he's probably our best small forward. He's going to get a lot of goals for us. And as I said, I put Matty Cruiser up full forward and wait at center half forward. And Betts and Garlett should be looking for the crumbs when the ball gets down to grounds. Uh, Bryce Gibbs, another one, previous draft pick, uh, number one draft pick. Uh, very good player. We've got four people that are unaware. We've got Bryce Gibbs, he was a number one draft pick. Uh, Murphy, who was a number one draft pick. And Cruiser, like I said, the forward slash Ruckman. So he's a good player. And Andrew Walker was actually a number two draft pick. So we've got some quality players in there. We have players to win a final uh, in the game. So I reckon we can get in the finals definitely. Uh, we have the players to do so. The defense is the big thing for me. But I'll look to improve my defenders with their attributes. And yeah, it shouldn't be a worry. Maybe I'll just put weight into the defense or someone else. Uh, someone with good defending attributes. Uh, you see Matty Cruiser, like I said, he's 200 centimeters. For me, he's not tall enough for a Ruckman. That's why I put Warnock in there. He's like 206 centimeters or something. Uh, but yeah. 
Uh, he would be a uh, cruiser would be amazing as a full forward. Just get it to him and he'll mark that. And he's got a good, very good tick, uh, kicking technique. And here's Chris Yaron. Something very disappointing about him in real life. He's a very speedy player. And uh, really looking at his like pace attributes and that kind of thing, he looks really. Um, I thought he should be faster. Like I suppose it's really hard to balance after really work how it is. But he should be, have really high speed, pretty much. Uh, he's a really explosive player so he should have high attributes in that but again uh, maybe it's just on the balance i've got to see how high the other fast players are rated so uh yeah i have me myself and my player i'm not going to use him like i said but i'll just show you for whatever reason only 55 overall so you can see but he's pretty good at smothering so i might give him a chance because he's actually from there he, uh, the player i made he looks decent like he looks like a decent like how i created his face and that so i might give him a chance i might give myself a chance uh, to become an AFL player. We'll just see how it works out throughout the season with injuries and that kind of thing. I might give him going the NAB Cup against GWS, um, which is probably a chance because we should be beating them. They've got a big team of younger players. So you see, that's me there. Um, so I don't get it kind of because it's seeming like I'm the manager. See how many wins I have, losses, draws, and winning percentage. So, But it shows the player. So I'm not really sure. Are you like a player manager? I'm not really sure. But maybe if you think of it that way, I put my nickname as The Beast. I wasn't really sure what to put it as, but... Yeah, being a FIFA player, you know, beast is a familiar word. So, uh, as a good player, so I went with that in the end. And we're getting towards the end. I just checked my player out again for whatever reason. Again, I was just showing you as much options as I could as we're getting to the end of the video. Then there's all this other thing like manager settings. As I said, on five minutes. Oh yeah, that's something I wanted to mention. Uh, apparently, like when you play 2.5 minute quarters and you finish the score, and it's like low scoring compared to other matches because. Uh, the other teams have scores like around the hundreds and that kind of thing, like 90 to 100, 80 to 100, 80 to 90, that kind of thing. Uh, but when you play on 2.5 minutes, like in a in a quarter, uh, you finish with scores like 40 or 50, so it's unrealistic. So I did put it five minutes a quarter, uh, maybe to balance it a bit more after like after reading what other people have said. And I've watched people playing, and for me the radar things like on the ground where it flashes like when someone's about to mark i'm not really sure about that um I'm, obviously i'm gonna have to play and edit these things like the camera and that kind of thing the way i want it in afl live the first game i had the camera behind for me that was better i didn't really like it from the side it really didn't show um yeah it, w it really wasn't how i liked it i didn't like it. i like playing uh, how it showed from behind so that was very good and yeah, but I'm still, I'm going to go play it now. I've just, I just got the game. So uh, basically I just start up the career mode to make a video of it, show you pretty much all the things you could. And the instructions here, um, I just had a look at it, but I'm obviously going to look at the manual to see um, all these, all the different controls. There's a lot of controls and I think it's a bit different. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll leave it at this pretty much uh, because yeah, I'm going to go play it for a bit. I'm not sure if I record anything, probably just going to play it offline, practice a few things. You see all the things there. There's a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of things to do. So I think I'll practice it a bit and then maybe play it a bit more tonight, get some recordings done and may upload some, uh, the next episode, maybe over the weekend. Yeah, I'll just see how it goes. And yeah, I'll see you guys then for the next episode in this Carlton Blues career mode series.